What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to be covering a super simple topic that you'll come across when you're trying to delete files off of a hard disk from another PC or another Windows installation. Now of course you can get this error elsewhere but more than likely you've plugged in an old hard drive and you have a bunch of files that you're just trying to delete off of it. While you could format the drive completely you'll usually end up with files like this if you try and delete them manually. So usually program data uses Windows and possibly a Windows old file. If I go ahead and try to delete this Windows folder over here, it'll give me an error saying I need permission from trusted installer or someone else to make changes to the files or delete them. But of course, we actually own the hard drive. I have it plugged into my PC. I should be able to delete these without having to copy things off and putting them in a different place. Now there's two basic ways of doing this. One of them is using the built-in Windows cleanup tool and the second one is taking ownership of the files, which we're gonna cover first because that's the title of this video. Usually to delete all Windows installations, we'll do a slightly different method, but of course I'll show you a way to bypass this trusted installer permission that you need to get. Basically, if you try and delete a file and you get this error pop up, then there's something that we need to do. We need to simply take ownership of those files. We can of course do this by heading to each individual file, right click properties, security, and then going ahead and adding ourselves over here, giving ourselves full control permissions. But of course that's going to take an incredibly long time to delete all of these files if we do them one by one. There's in fact a much easier way to take ownership of files. How exactly do we do it? Well, simply head across to the description down below and you'll find this guide over here. How to add take ownership to the right click menu in Windows Explorer from How to Geek. Scrolling down to the very bottom of this post past all of these images, we get to this section over here. Simply click this button over here to download a zip. Inside of the zip are these two files over here that will go ahead and add these to our registry. But of course, without going into too much detail, basically open up the zip, open up the folder inside of it, and we have these two files. One to add, take ownership to our right click menu and one to remove it when we're done. Simply double click on the one that says add, run, click yes when prompted for admin and then yes once again. Once you see this, our right click menu now has a new option. If we head across to the files that we can't delete, such as this Windows folder over here, all we need to do is right click on it and then click take ownership. After clicking yes, a black window will pop up and it'll run through every single file inside of that folder and its subfolders and then take ownership of them. What exactly does that mean? Well, of course, if we let this complete and run through all of the files, then we try to delete a file from this folder, it'll just magically work straight up. So I could simply select something and delete it, continue, and it'll delete as expected without complaining about some trusted installer issue or needing to take ownership. Having a look at the zip, if you'd like to remove that take ownership option, simply run remove take ownership over here, click OK, yes when prompted for admin, and that option will vanish. Now, of course, that is the best way to do it if you're getting issues with normal files. But of course, as I mentioned earlier in this video, if you're trying to get rid of old Windows installations on another drive, there is a much better method. Simply find the old Windows installation on the different hard disk that you want to remove and rename the folder from Windows to Windows.old as such. Click continue. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and press start and open up the cleanup tool simply by searching for clean. Then click on disk cleanup and select the drive that we're trying to get rid of the old Windows installation on. In my case, it's I. OK. And we'll see this window pop up with, of course, not that much info. At the very bottom, click Clean Up System Files, then select the drive again. OK. And this time, when it's done, you'll see this over here, Previous Windows Installations. I'll go ahead and click OK, Delete Files, and this old windows.old file over here that we just tried to delete will be removed. Now, of course, this was originally just called Windows, but renaming it to windows.old lets the PC know that it can go through and remove all of the old files. And there we go. You can see the windows.old file was now removed. And there we go. Now that it's finished, the windows.all file was removed and that's the better way of doing it. But of course, if you're getting that trusted installer issue elsewhere, then of course the take ownership solution is what you're looking for. But anyways, hopefully this video answered any questions you had. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.